Good morning, guys. How's everybody doing? Uh, long time no see. Huh? I know it's only been two weeks, but I've had some exciting stitchy stuff happening here. And I wanted to share it with you before I forgot and moved on and never shared. So the first thing is I just discovered a couple of days ago that yesterday, November 4th, was my floss anniversary, my one year floss anniversary. So yay me, I think this is video number 12 or 13. I'm gonna have to go back and look and start putting the number in the title. Um, I'm not really sure. But I should go back and watch my first one even though I know it was just just a hot mess but I think I've gotten better and I'm really really enjoying it doing the doing the videos some of you folks out there should try it it's not that scary well it is at first but you get over it um, so yeah I appreciate all of you guys watching me every time I post a video I end up with more and more subscribers which is just outrageous to me. Why would anybody want to watch me ramble? But if if you do, if you enjoy it, thank you so much. If you don't and you're giving me thumbs down, just unsubscribe. You know, doing the thumbs down and watching it and complaining about it is just wasting your time and is getting me pissed off. So just unsubscribe, please. It makes life easier for everybody. But Moving on, um, I have three finishes in the last two weeks. Yes, don't think that'll ever happen again. But I wanted to show you these. One of them's a real small Lizzie Kate, which I had started a while ago, but then I just need, needed to do something small, and it only took me like one evening to finish it up. So it's my little Thanksgiving. I've got a little brown wood frame. I'm going to put it in. Or I may just do it as a flat fold and then buy one of those frame things at Michael's or Joann's that has the little clippy thing on the top. So I could, because I've got some other Lizzie Cakes that are like this size. So I could do some and then switch them out. I'm not really sure. I've got to go look at look at the frames. Otherwise, I do have a frame that fits it. So I thought that was cute, and I don't have any Thanksgiving or, or autumn things, so I can put this up in my kitchen or my living room or something. Uh, the second one is the third in a set of four um, samplers by Dinky Dyes. This is the Autumn Fire Sampler by Dinky Dyes. Let's see if I can get this up a little closer. Hold on a second. My list here. Um, they're not they're not big at all. They're really small. But they are fun to do. And I think I set an all-time record with this one of I finished this in like four days. But man oh man oh for a little tiny piece, I didn't realize this sucker has over 300 beads on it. So it did take a little extra time and I love the little treasures down at the, the little red treasures down at the bottom there. So I have the spring one and the summer ones already done. And I've done them all on the same fabric, which was milk chocolate. I think it's 28 count from Stephanie, I think. I think it was Stephanie. And I've done them all on the same fabric. So I only have the winter one left and it's all kitted up. So I'm going to hopefully get that one done by the end of the year or sometime in January. And then I'm going to find a frame, all the same frame to put them in individually. But all the same frame. So that was fun. 
I really enjoy doing these and they do have the specialty stitches. Um, they would be a really good way to practice the specialty stitches because there aren't a lot of each one and her directions are, the directions are really good. They're spelled out very clearly. Um, a lot of these I had not done before. So it does have some back stitching and Krennic, actually quite a bit of Krennic, but um, it makes it sparkly. So it's, it's okay. So my big finish, did I tell you? Oh no, I didn't, is my Desiderata. I did finish it. And I did do the heart hanger and I did cut it. Oh my Lord. But let me just show you this. I'm gonna have to roll back here a little bit, I think, to get the whole thing in, because it's a little large. So, there we go. I'll probably just have to stand up here, yeah. And I'll just kind of try to scroll. there down at the bottom you can see my let me get it in closer my heart anger and my little squares cut and my little my needle weaving in between each one and for a first try I'm really proud of those I think they came out really well not showing up real well but you get the idea so what I did was I did all of the gold close cloister blocks which is basically the same as a satin stitch and I've done those before so I had no problem with that but then I practiced this really helped I practiced cutting. I practiced the cutting and I did this for a couple of nights, practiced the cutting and then I practiced doing some of the needle weaving which was, I really enjoyed that. That was fun once once it was all cut and everything. I would totally, totally recommend if you're doing any kind of specialty stitches for the first time and you're unsure is take some fabric that is the same as what you're working on and practice them. You know, just take an hour and do five or six of them. And it really, really helped my confidence. I thought that I was going to, I was all ready to spend another two days working on here and, and cutting and and doing the needle weaving and making sure that I knew how to do it and everything. And then it just clicked. And I said to myself, I can do this. So I just went ahead and bit the bullet and dove right in. And I had one or two little boo-boos, but I was able to fix them without too much panic. And I think it'll, I. I think it turned out really nice. Now, would I do it again? I don't know. I don't know. It was kind of scary and stressful. Um, it would just depend on the pattern. I think whether or not I would do that again. Now, I, I went out and spent some money on some... I found when I was first trying this and... and practicing that my cheap little Joanne scissors weren't going to cut it. Ha <laughs> ha, cut it. See what I did there? So I went to my needlework store and I bought a couple of little pairs of scissors and I also ordered online a pair of squizzers. Hold on a minute, let me see if I can get those real quick. Here they are. And these... And these. I don't know whether you've seen squizzers before, but they're these. 
and they're a little tiny blade and they cut like that. Oh, might help if that thing was off. Like that. And from everything I'd read for, to do a hard anger and to do the cutting, these are supposed to be like the bee's knees. I was not impressed. Maybe, maybe I got it, just got a cheap pair. Maybe if I was going to do it again, I'd invest in a better pair of them. But I, they didn't work for me. They weren't sharp enough. So I, I don't know. Maybe you get what you pay for with squishers. And then I bought, at my needlework store, I bought this, these two little pairs of scissors. Little tiny scissors. And I ended up using these. I tried, when I was practicing, I tried all of the different scissors to see which ones worked for me. And I like these little tiny ones. And they were only like 10 bucks or something at my needlework store, which means I could probably have found the same ones a lot cheaper online but I wasn't gonna wait once I was gonna once I was ready I wanted to do it before I chickened out so so I just used a little tiny pair of scissors nice and sharp and uh, yeah that worked out really well so I'm going to have that made the desert dorada made into a quilted um, wall hanging because I'm afraid it would cost a fortune to frame it and I don't know where I would put it. At least with a wall hanging I can move it around a little bit. It's lighter and I can put it someplace up in my room here. So, so that's it for the finishes. Um, whips for the last two weeks. Of course I finished the Desiderata that took me about four days to do the um, all of the hard anger, the cloister blocks, and the needle weaving in between took quite a bit of time. It wasn't hard at all, but it took time. So it took me about four days, I think, to finish it. And um, I did the sampler in about four days the thanksgiving one i think i finished in about a day and a half so the rest of the time i have been working on esther's waves which i'm not going to take out of the frame because it's really hard to get back in with the beads and the stuff but you can you can see where I've gotten to. Can you see any beads? I guess not. I don't think you can see the sparkles. And my little needle minder there is from No More Lost Needles, Lisa. I love her needle minders. So on this one I have, oops, bonked myself in the head. I have this row here that I'm working on and a small one and a big one and a small one left to do, and that's all. So it's go it goes it's going pretty quick, and I do enjoy the beating. So um, I am hoping to have this finished. I sh unless something really weird happens, I should have this finished by the end of November. So another big finish for the year, which is wonderful which opens up more spots for next year, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, okay. I got my first rack ever. I was so happy. This lady messaged me and said she... I. I forget now what she said. If she had won something, she had won a prize, or somebody had sent her this, and it was not anything that she was ever going to stitch, but she thought of me, which was so sweet, and she, can I send this to you? So I said, heck yeah. So she sent me 
little mill hill kit of Southwest Santa. And this is the Desert Santa. I guess she thought of me because I live in the desert. So with his little donkey and the little cactus. I think that is so cute. And then a surprise. She sent me some needle minders, which I think, yeah, she made these herself which I love all of them. So there's a little skull and a froggy in the Santa and a little Halloween black cat because she knows I my kitty is black. So, oh shoot, there's the phone. I'm gonna just let it ring. Um, I was so happy. These were so cute and so nice of you to do. So I didn't say, I didn't ask her if I could use her Whole name or anything. So Lisa from Pennsylvania, you know who you are. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. It's my very first rack. I was so excited. And she decorated the envelope with happy mail and little stickers and stuff. So that was so sweet of you. Thank you so much. I all of you floss tube people are just, just amazing. Um, I've got a little bit of haul, hardly any. I've got this pattern off of eBay. It's a K. Elaine Kramer design. She has a series of ornaments. And this is the third in the set. I have two others, a red one and I think it's a blue one. Um, I, these are so pretty, and I'm really thinking I might try to do them eventually in all beads. But I'd, I'm not sure. Well, we'll see. And I'm wondering if anybody knows how many there are in this series. I've only been able to track down these the three of them. And this one just says, third in the jewel ornament series. But I haven't been able to find out anywhere how many are in the series, whether it's just these three, because I think it's, it doesn't, yeah, these are, they're old. This is from 2002, so maybe it's just the three of them. I don't, but if anybody else knows, I'd appreciate knowing that. Um, so, and I'm also, for next year, well, actually... I'm going to start either December or January, depending on when I get my kit from European Cross Stitch. I'm going to be starting the Medieval Town Mandala. I'm so excited. I'm doing this with a friend. We're both excited. So we decided not to do all of the silks because it's just outrageously expensive. So what we decided to do was do the DMC conversion, except for there's like six of them that Martina says you really need to use the NPIs, that there isn't a good, there aren't good DMC conversions for these couple of colors. So I just got those in the mail, which are these turquoise from MPI. And I can see what she means about that there's, they're very shiny and soft. And then for the black in there, I substituted anchor black. I've never used it before. So I thought, well, I'm going to try that and see how it goes. So I got those and now I've ordered my fabric for that and I'm just waiting for all of my sparkly stuff, my beads and treasures and the, some glor there's some Glorianas and stuff like that. So and I don't think I'm going to, once I get it, I don't think I'm going to be able to wait to start it. So that'll be, that'll be, I'll probably be a new start in December. Uh, let's
let's see, I think that, oh, and then Lisa from No More Lost Needles. I mentioned her one needle minder on my Esther's Waves. I got some other ones from her, and these are wonderful. They are so strong, and they're just the right size. So I got, sorry for the glare, people, Gryffindor. And I got some Minions and Cross Stitch for when you want to stab someone a thousand times. And that I stitched to keep the voices quiet. So she's based in England, but her shipping to, to the States is very, very reasonable. So I would totally recommend Lisa. She's got a Facebook, she does it on a Facebook page. Uh, I think it's No More, no more Lost Needles. Um, yeah, so go check her out. She's got a bunch of really cool needle minders. Is that, okay, blah, 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 blah. Oh, in honor of my Flossiversary, I'm going to do a giveaway. And I've got a couple of things. I'm going to do it all just one, just one giveaway. Just one thing. Um, you have to be a subscriber. You have to be over 18. I'll send it anywhere. So wherever you are, feel free to please, please enter. So what I am giving away is the unopened, unused Raven Queen by Mirabilia. And I am also giving away the full set of patterns and buttons for the Gingerbread Village. And these, the buttons are all on the front, but let me open up one or two so you can see them. And these are the ones, it's a set of six or seven. This is the one that goes in the middle. It not, does not include the floss, but it includes the buttons that go with each one. Um, Everybody has seen this, but here's another one. So it's the whole set of one, two, three, four, five, six. And I think there's seven or eight of them. Anyway, it's the full set. No threads. Unused. So... All you need to do to enter is just put something down below. Me, please. Enter me, please. Whatever. And I will open this up to... Let's make it easy. Thanksgiving Day. So the 24th. Um, and that gives people time to watch it because I know a lot of people are behind, me included. Um, and then I will uh, pick a name and I will get on here and do a little, do a little announcement. Oh, you decide to join us today? No, not really, okay. So plans for November is oh I also got the Stony Creek cross stitch. This has a lot of cute little ones in it. And oh, look at this. I might have to do this one. Is on the polka dot fabric. Isn't that cute? I love these magazines. I just started subscribing. This is the second one I've gotten and I find so many things that I like in these. One of these days I'm actually going to do some of them. Um Plans for November. I'm going to finish Esther's Waves. That'll take a little while. And then the rest of the month, I'm going to...
pull out an old whip, the uh, Santa's Village, which I started in January, and I kind of lost steam on it. Anyway, it's got, I've done one, two, three, four, five, six, almost seven of them, almost seven of the houses. So I'm planning on bringing this out. I'm going to finish that seventh house there and um, maybe see if I can get working on the eighth because this is also going to be, this is going to be a finish next year. I'm, I don't want it hanging out anymore. And every time I look at it, I really enjoy looking at it. I think it's so pretty, but I, I think I just got burned out on it. So I'm going to work on that a little bit between now and the end of the year. And I also have, the rest of the time I haven't planned at all. Um, I have some kitting up, putting putting threads in, organizing threads for like the um, mandala, and I've got another haid coming that I need to that'll need to organize, and I need to do some gridding and just getting ready for some new starts next year. So. I'm going to be doing some of that between now and the end of the year. And in December, I'm going to do a couple of videos. I'm going to do a year in review, which I'll bring back out all of my finishes to show. And uh, then I'm also going to do a separate video with all of my plans for next year, if I can ever finalize them because it keeps changing so I have so many I want to work on and there's just not enough weeks I need extra weeks so I'll be doing that sometime in December I guess um, and I think that's about it princess you want to come and say hi no um, yeah so I'm gonna go clean up my mess and start working on Esther's waves and watch some college football. And since the little mister is gone this week to California to see kids and grandkids, I may just have popcorn for dinner. So what do you do when your significant other is gone? Do you have popcorn for dinner? Do you stay all day in your jammies? What do you do? I stitch as much as I want. Well, that's a given, right? Okay. Everybody have a good weekend. And remember to love what you stitch and stitch what you love. I will talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye.